Women, in my opinion, my humble opinion, are the worst stewards of children in the world. They don't care about their children in general. They put their children in bad situations. And this might be one of those cases where an abortion might be something that this woman should look into in the future. Yep, you see her right there. She's the queen, a black queen. And this black queen has pulled out a gun, a gun on the people at the convenience store. And what does she want? Well, this black queen wanted some damn cigarettes. Yep, some cigarettes. Let me let you guys take a look at something while I read this damn report. This woman walked in to the convenience store, walked up with her big belly and her house shoes on, walking up like ain't nothing happened, like this is normal activity. She continued to walk up there and then what did she do? Pulled out a gun on black folks and when pulled out this gun on these black folks, demanded cigarettes. She walked up like nothing happened, like it's no big deal in house shoes and walk back to her car, cocked the gun. And as you can see in her hand, she has the cigarettes. She did all this for a pack of damn cigarettes. And let me read this a little bit. It says Houston police said a woman walked into the store with a handgun at 5 PM on October the 29th. She then pointed a gun at the customers and the clerk while she walked towards the counter. The woman demanded a carton of cigarettes, police said. And she said, and, and uh, once she had the cigarettes, she walked off and sped away in a key of soul. The woman's described as black, wearing a pink hoodie, black shorts, and fuzzy pink house shoes. Whew. Please contact Crime Stoppers of Houston directly if you have any information related to this investigation. Information leading to the charges and or arrest of any felony suspects may result in cash up to $5,000. Tipsters must contact Crime Stoppers directly to remain anonymous and to be considered for a cash payment by calling 713-222-TIPS. That's 713-222-8477. Or just call TI. Anyway, submitting this online, you can submit it at www.crime-stoppers.org or you can go through the, the Crime Stoppers mobile app. They got plenty of ways to be a snitch. Now, there's nothing wrong with telling on what you see and I know a lot of y'all know this woman, but why don't we talk about the mentality of black women that's gotten them to that point of where they will lie and do certain things and be violent. There are a lot of cases out there where you would not believe the things that a black woman did. You would not believe she went as far as she did. And if someone were to tell you this story without this video evidence, you know what would happen? You wouldn't believe it. You wouldn't believe that a pregnant woman in house shoes walked up with a gun to a convenience store and held the convenience store at gunpoint, not for the teal, not for the safe, for a pack of cigarettes. You wouldn't believe it, but you'd be wrong. And that's what a lot of things that happen in our community, if you don't have video proof of it, people believe it didn't happen. And a lot of women get away with doing things to people, being violent, pulling out weapons on them. And when they do it, they didn't turn around. And if there's no video evidence, other people get in trouble because they're trying to tell the story of what a black woman did to them and no one believes it. This story is to me a little bit proof of what I always talk about, about we learn our violence from where? From these women. This is a woman that should be at home preparing a nest egg for her newborn, preparing a great place for that newborn to be. But instead you're infusing that child with trauma trauma of walking around, yelling, screaming, fighting, cussing. And she's quite pregnant, not a little pregnant. She's very pregnant. And being this pregnant, she's still out committing a violent act that were it not for the camera, she would have sworn up and down, she did not do it. It would have been the white man's fault. It had been a black man's fault. It had been everybody else's fault, but hers. The child has no chance. 
but many of us black children were raised in households where violence was the first thing, the second thing, the third thing, where disrespect was common. So common that this woman walked out without a care in the world and got in her car after holding people at gunpoint for cigarettes. Again, ladies and gentlemen, if you know, have seen this woman that you see on your screen there, no one knows her name, but she's quite pregnant. She's walking around like nothing happened. She pulled out a gun and cocked it for some cigarettes and walked around proud as a peacock, as you know.